Namaste. Today's reading, October 23rd, 2020, is on the mother's help. I have been asked during this time of the coronavirus to do this reading on mother's help. And it's extremely powerful. Uh, many things you may not have seen before, but I have gone through all of their works to share these words with you. Be sure that the mother will always be with you to carry you upon the path. Difficulties come and difficulties go, but she being with you, the victory is sure. This is from Sri Aurobindo. The path you have now taken to cleave to the mother through all circumstances and let nothing shake you from that will bring the true solution of difficulties for you. One has to cleave firmly to the faith in the mother's working behind all appearances and you will find that that will carry you through. It is the true attitude to leave all to the mother and to trust entirely in her and let her lead you on the path to the goal. It is not by his own strength or good quality, sorry. It is not by his own strength or good qualities that anyone can attain the divine change. There are only two things that matter the mother's force at work, and the sadhak's will to open to it and trust in her working. Keep your will and your trust and care nothing for the rest. They are only difficulties that all meet in their sadhana. Nothing is impossible if the nature of the psychic being is awake and leading you with the mother's consciousness and force behind it and working in you. If one remains in full confidence in the mother and psychically open then the mother's force will do all and one has only to give consent and keep oneself open and aspire. All faults and errors are redeemed by repentance. Confidence in the mother, self-giving to the mother, these, if you increase them, will bring the change in the nature. Whether the progress is rapid or slow, the attitude should always be an entire faith and reliance on the mother. Just as you do not think that the progress was the result of your own effort or merit, but of your taking the right attitude of reliance and the mother's force working, so you should not think that any slowness or difficulty was due to your own demerit, but only seek to keep this attitude of reliance and let the mother's force work slowly or rapidly does not matter. 
but the path is not a desert, nor are you alone, since the mother is with you. Once one has entered the path of yoga, there is only one thing to do, to fix oneself in the resolution to go to the end, whatever happens, whatever difficulties arise. None really gets the fulfillment in yoga by his own capacity. It is by the greater force that stands over you that it will come. And it is the call, persistent through all vicissitudes to that force by which the fulfillment will come, even when you cannot aspire actively. Keep yourself turned to the mother for the help to come. That is the one thing to do always. What is needed is perseverance. To go on without discouragement, recognizing that the process of nature and the action of the mother's force is working through the difficulty even and will do all that is needed. Our incapacity does not matter. There is no human being who is not in his parts of nature incapable. But the divine force is also there. If one puts one's trust in that, incapacity will be changed into capacity. Difficulty and struggle themselves then become a means towards the achievement. Do not brood over your difficulties. Leave them to the mother and let her force work them out of you. Never allow this idea, I am not able, I am not doing enough to come and vex you. It is a tamasic suggestion and brings depression and depression opens the way to the attacks of the wrong forces. Your position should be, let me do what I can. The mother's force is there. The divine is there to see that in due time, all will be done. You have to go on quietly, without depression or trouble, receiving the mother's forces, allowing them to work, rejecting all that stands in their way, but not troubled by difficulty or defects in yourself or by any delay or slowness in the working. not to be disturbed, to remain quiet and confident is the right attitude, but it is necessary also to receive the help of the mother and not to stand back for any reason from her solicitude. One ought not to indulge ideas of incapacity, inability to respond, dwelling too much on defects and failures and allowing the mind to be in pain and shame on their account. For these ideas and feelings become, in the end, weakening things. If there are difficulties, stumblings, or failures, one has to look at them quietly to call in tranquilly and persistently the divine help for their removal, but not to allow oneself to be upset or pained 
or discouraged. Yoga is not an easy path. And the total change of the nature cannot be done in a day. Do not admit these suggestions of despair or impatience. Give time for the mother's force to act. What one cannot do oneself, one can get done by calling the mother's force. To receive that and let it work in you is the true means of success in the sadhana. Whatever difficulties still remain, be sure that they will be surmounted. There is no need for the outer being to be nervous. The mother's force and the devotion within you will be sufficient to overcome all that stands in the way. One has to cleave firmly to the faith in the mother's working behind all appearances and you will find that that will carry you through to a sadhak. There has always been too much reliance on the action of your own mind and will. That is why you cannot progress. If you could once get the habit of silent reliance on the power of the mother, not merely calling it in to support your own effort, the obstacle would diminish and eventually disappear. <laughs>